Welcome everybody to How To Wednesday. We do this every Wednesday at 12 noon Eastern time. Great to see everybody here today. If you're brand new, I'm going to tell you how How To Wednesday works. Basically, I start by giving you some info, updates, all about now site. And then I'll kind of take you on a little bit of a tour, show you how to do a, a social post with us here at NowSite. And then what we do is we rushed, we rushed to raise our hands, get in line, be really kind to one another, and we um, basically ask our questions. Now you see a couple of people love to get in line first, like my friend Dave, he's like, you can do all the announcements, but I'm still keeping my hand up because I have a question. You can feel free to get in line whenever you want. Um, you can raise your hand whenever you'd like. So I'm gonna go through a couple of things and then I'll get to the questions. It's <laughs> Wes, why Wes, why? Thanks Wes. All right, little info is, um, look, our price increase takes place on October 17th. And our price increase is where our new customers We'll go from paying $29 for my AI to $49. Our new customers will go um, on our marketing AI plan, $49 to $99 a month. And our limited a our unlimited AI customers, well, they will uh they're offered currently right now $99 a month on the 17th. It'll go to $100. $49. Things that you need to know, right? Tina Roman. Tina Roman says yes. Then we're good to go. Okay. We also have a very important meeting um, tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern time. That's where we will release um, video captions on desktop. So we're going to release video captions. That's really, really exciting. And video captions will be able to be done on Facebook, Facebook Reels, Instagram, YouTube, you name it, right? Um, TikTok, you'll be able to do that um, uh, from your desktop. And uh, I believe we're also releasing the surprise me button on mobile. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. You didn't hear it here, but you know, things happen. If you are an affiliate with us here at NowSite, if you're sharing NowSite, if you um, would like to share now site, there's also some very good reasons to be there, to pay attention to things, to make sure that you're paying attention to things inside of our group. I'm just going to say that until I can give you all of the details, which will probably be sometime soon. However, Good times for you if you are sharing or uh, promoting now site. Okay. With that being said, um, I'm going to take you through kind of creating a social post, which is fun. It's great. However, we do this every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern time at my AI live daily. Um, that's at 11 a.m. Eastern time. What you do at that kind of training there is you can go there, it gets your DMO, your IPA, whatever it is that you want to call it, right? It kind of gets you into action every single day. And that means that you're going to go there with a great community of people and you are going to all post together. You get a five minute timer, get to ask all kinds of questions about social media, but most importantly, get into action. And it's something uh, for beginners, especially I'm fine. All right, so I'm going to share with you how you can um, post. Thank you, Nock. I appreciate that. <laughs> Love you back. All right, I'm going to share with you how to um, post on social <laughs> using my AI. Let me share my screen here. And this is inside of my account. You can go right inside of your account and you're going to start with create a social post. Now, inside of creating a social post, you can do a caption and suggested image. You can also caption your own image and you can do a short text only post. Like I said, tomorrow we have a release coming where you will be able to caption your video, which is really exciting. <clears throat> so here we also have the surprise me button. How many people use the surprise me button regularly? 
Anybody put it here in the chat? I do. I like the surprise me. I know it's going to give me something that's great, that's inspirational, that's educational, that's entertaining. Um, and I really love the surprise me button, right? So let's see what we have here. Earl says, I do. Yes, surprise me. Jim says, yep. Rita, yes. Tula, yes. Monica, yes. Sometimes, <laughs> yep. Then, and I like that. Some, uh, Nina says, sometimes it's different than what I would normally choose. Kind of giving you um, some options there for sure. Yes, love it, love it. Let's click it together, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and click on the surprise me button. You can feel free, follow along if you haven't yet. Posted on uh, social, this is your sign. Gary Kirkpatrick says, it's great. Uh, yes, love it. Don't be afraid to dream big and pursue your goals. You all have all the power within you to make it happen. Start taking those small steps towards success today. That one is for Facebook. This one is for Instagram. Optimize for each one of those platforms. So every time you click on it, you, it will change. <laughs> okay. Um, here, so you can check that out. Uh, also LinkedIn and uh, for X, otherwise known as Twitter. Anina says, I'm getting a lot of feedback in my comments that people are loving my graphic images on IG. That's awesome. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Rita. What was that, Rita? Or maybe she wasn't chatting with me. I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to post to LinkedIn and I'm going to click to get started. Make sure questions on the screen, especially if it's your first time. So you're going to go to LinkedIn and create a new post. You're going to then paste the text, and then you're going to add the image from your computer's downloads folder, then click post. I'm going to read it out more often. Um, we need to make sure that we read it out because someone will skip it and then say, hey, Coco, where's my image at? Can't find it. It's in your downloads folder. So make sure that you pay attention to this pop up that happens. Then I'm going to pull up LinkedIn and I'm going to follow the directions, which is start a post, paste. Okay. Then add media or add my image here, right? Which is dream. I'm going to click on next. It's not Monday. So I'm going to get rid of the Monday here, and then I'm just going to click on post. Yes, can I do it? Now I have great content. It's inspirational. I'm staying relevant on social media. It took me two seconds. So what would have otherwise took me so much time to kind of scroll, find a great image, oh, right? It happens to you instantly here, um, especially when using that surprise me button. I'm gonna go back home. I'm going to click on Instagram and I'm going to choose to post here too. So click to get started and follow these same exact directions here. Go to Instagram and create a new post. Add the image from your computer's downloads folders, paste the text, then click share. So I'm going to click to post. Here, I'm going to click to create. I'm going to select the image from my downloads folder. And oh, I can just click this here, click next, next, and then paste and share. And just like that, that's it. My post has been shared. Someone's asking, um, yeah, who does the LinkedIn post go to? Question is, who does the LinkedIn post go to? Or if you're posting to everyone on LinkedIn, then it's going to, right? It's like the newsfeed, just like Facebook, right? It's just posting to your LinkedIn newsfeed. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So make sure, look, um, the easiest thing that you can do is to get into action. And that's something that I want to encourage everybody to do looking for what I today, how can I get started? I would say, ask you the question you posted yet today. Have you tried it, right? What's holding you back? Why haven't you yet posted? Get out there and post, right? 
if you have already posted, I want to say something to you as well. How often are you posting? Are you just posting once? Right, this is your sign to do it again. If it's three to four times a day, there you go, right? If you're posting three to four times a day consistently, try another platform. My AI makes it so simple to be relevant, have great content on so many different platforms just with the click of a button. So the best thing that you can do is take action and if you haven't created your very first social post, create your very first social post. And if you have and you're following along, do it, right? Make sure that you're doing a couple, doing it a couple times a day. Yeah. Awesome, Nina. Congrats. That's great. Look, we do have uh, questions. This is always your time. I want you to feel free to ask any question uh, that you like. Will my post automatically go to my LinkedIn recipient, recipients in my contacts folder? It will go on LinkedIn. It will be posted on LinkedIn. Just like you post on Facebook, it will be posted on LinkedIn. Look, here's where's my LinkedIn post. There's my LinkedIn post. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in line. You can raise a hand and we're gonna answer all of your uh, how-to questions. Um, awesome, the blazer says, I've never had any luck on LinkedIn, but with my AI, I'm getting a nice amount and growing, I'm excited, that's awesome. You know, the different platforms or the fact that each um, post is optimized for a platform speaks volumes. There's a different voice on each one, right? Talk a bit different on Facebook than you on Instagram than you would on LinkedIn. I think LinkedIn is probably the most obvious as far as difference, right? You kind of have a little more professional viewer outlook there on uh, LinkedIn. So it might have been intimidating or just something that uh, if you're posting daily, maybe that you didn't do in the past. So I would encourage you to try it and do it. It'll help you find your voice on that platform. Try it. Um, I'm going to start telling people more. Try it. When you post on Facebook, you start with the picture or with the text? Question mark. Try it. Tell me what you start with. Let me know what you chose to start with. Hey, Dave, what's happening? Nice to see you. Better unmute first. I'm okay. doing fine. Yep. I don't know if you remember, I was having trouble with Gmail blocking, blocking my uh, emails. Yep, I remember. So I have changed my email. But when I go to my profile in now and I click edit, I get a pop-up like a, from my downloads. And I, all I want to do is edit my the email address in the email box. Uh -huh. I don't get, I don't have to go to a little pop, like my downloads pop up or my pictures pop up. I just want to edit that so I can test it through um, to see if my new email will get blocked. Uh, look, Dave, like I'm, I'm happy to, like, it sounds like it's more inside of your specific account and probably more of a question for support. I would send them a screenshot and see if they can specifically help you, uh, with your account and the trouble that you're having there with Gmail. No, but it's in, it's in now where it won't let me edit my original email address. Yeah, I, I would ask them. They'll be okay. able to help. Yeah. Um, Hey, Fred, downtown, right? <laughs> What's happening? Thanks, Cheryl. You're welcome. You're muted, though. When I go to write a message, can you just, um, or create a message, it never highlights the button. I put the information in, but it doesn't uh, highlight the button where it says generate. So it's something I'm missing. So when you go to create a message, you're talking specifically about sales AI, right? Yeah. I want to create a message and it doesn't keep going. Yeah, it doesn't generate. Can I share my screen? I'll show you. I know exactly what it is. Choose okay. the choose the place that you're going to share in the top left hand corner. So it's most likely that you don't have LinkedIn or email or something, a choice made in the top left hand corner of sales AI in order to continue. So you said in any upper Top left hand corner, I'll show you. 
One sec. But keep keep looking because it, it's definitely there. Top left hand corner. It's it'll say LinkedIn, email, Facebook. You don't have yeah. one uh selected. It doesn't so allow it. me to. Okay. Maybe you can do it, but it select. Allow. Okay. select uh contact method. Yeah, it doesn't allow me to. Do you have a contact selected, maybe? So here, look, ready? You get a prospect, you're gonna launch sales AI, and then you can, once you click the contact method, it will- None of that, none of that is highlighted. It allows me to, the contact method, it doesn't allow me. Tell me your, tell me your email address, Fred. Uh, Fred, uh, so 123 Growth Agency at Gmail. Get a prospect, launch sales AI. Okay, so nothing generated, right? It doesn't allow me to do that. That's what I'm saying. On my screen, it doesn't allow me to do that. And you have a contact name? Just get a new prospect and try again. No, I don't have a contact name. Okay, so you have to get a prospect and take them through. So start with get a prospect. Okay. What if I just want to kind of generate a, a, a message and then grab that message and then and then put it somewhere. You still would have to have a contact name okay. here for now, right? So okay. something up there that's missing that's not allowing you to generate and move forward. So it starts okay. with the contact and then the method, right? That okay. you're going to contact them. However, you look, you, you like, okay. it's a great example of how you want to use the product, right? And giving you the flexibility to kind of copy and maybe pay somewhere else. And I won't, don't want to like overlook that the fact that you said that you're breaking that it is so great it is something that is happening and it's coming <laughs> so if you're all kind of listening to fred <clears throat> and maybe you're wondering or, or doing the same thing i think one of the great things about the questions that are asked is maybe we get a glimpse into future features or future capabilities of the platform because of the questions that people ask so it's a great one thank you you, um, so right page good work gotcha part part of your okay. you we have uh -huh. go ahead part of what you were sharing kind of broke up i don't know for me i don't know for everyone else but it, you were kind of going in and out i was just saying that it's great that you ask such questions we should all be open to asking uh, questions and exploring the platform because you never know when someone is asking about a future feature that's coming so you kind of gave everybody a glimpse into that. So I was just saying, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, Robert. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great. How are you? Okay. I'm doing great. So where I'm at right now is, so I'm in financial services and I'm right. My goal right now is I'm trying to build my team, build my agency. So my focus right now is recruiting. Recruiting that that's my goal right now. So I'm my, where I'm stuck right now is trying to figure out how to use this platform to recruit and get people on a call or a Zoom. So you know, so, so like I said, for one on ones. And yeah. so, um, um, so I'm just trying to get some advice on how to use this platform the best way to what kind of messages that I can send to get appointments set. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So look, mo most of the people that are here are going to be social sellers, right? They're, in, I, I'm going to talk to the people that are here that are network marketing or use their social media platform in order to create relationships that sell. Hence the reason that my, my AI is so important to a lot of the people here that do social selling. What they're doing is they're kind of branding themselves. They're creating great inspirational, educational, entertaining and promotional posts about their business, which then gets them seen and gives them the opportunity to meet more people and expand their network. What they want to do from expanding their network is take that expanded network and take them into conversation, start talking to those people, create a relationship, and then uh, talk to them about the opportunity of working together or possibly becoming a customer. So that, Robert, is the way that people are using my AI. You seem to be talking specifically about the getting a prospect, right? Yes. And, you know, I'm just going to say this um, 
from experience and, and talking to you, I don't want you to think getting a prospect equals getting a miracle, right? Getting a prospect, it means working with the prospect too. And it means reaching out and still talking to that person and creating the relationship or, you know, taking that to, to a next level. So you're going to create, you know, uh, get a prospect, reach out to them in the way that you feel most comfortable, whether that's email or uh, even on LinkedIn for best in a faster fashion and talk to that person uh, specifically and maybe ask them if they're open to uh, having a um, or getting an appointment with you. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks, Robert. Yeah. So I'm still learning this stuff. So, cool. yeah, I just wanted to get some advice on what, to, what I can do next. <laughs> Uh, Robert, look, my AI is an extremely powerful tool, and so is posting and social selling. It's going to give people the opportunity to know, like, trust you, create a relationship, create a place where somebody can go and say, I know Robert. More people are more likely to do with you this way. Posting, oh, Dang, Tina Roman. Tina, were you in my head? <laughs> Tina Roman. Posting <laughs> about uh, financial tips, educating them financially. Just go read what Tina Roman said is an extremely great way to open your network and continue to build and expand your network and attract people learning more about you what you do, right? So I'm going to suggest to you you could do a post, and it's probably best for every single person that's here and using my AI. So hopefully that helps. All right. Thank um, you. Brett was going to say keep creating intriguing posts and talking to as many people as you can today. I want you all to think about the person that introduced you specifically to maybe network marketing or outside in general was that person somebody that you knew from social media anyone want to answer that here in the chat do you know this person or were you attracted by a post maybe that somebody put out i'm going to check my connection Your social back back then when, with now it's like yeah i don't know why my internet seems to be bad there's i knew them Go ahead, Blakester. What was that? I said, there's a disturbance in the force. There is. Look, at lots of uh, people here, you know, looking at specifically maybe uh, Brahim, Tina, uh, Blakester, and Brett. How many people attract in social media or people that know, like, and trust us using social media? So I know, uh, Robert, you were asking that question. I wanted to continue to say it. Said so first, I, I meant, you know, now I'll say in general, but Zama, I get it. <laughs> Maybe a long, long time ago for you guys. Darlene, you're muted. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm getting a lot response format error. What am I doing? Because like every time I go do a, a post, it's response format error, response format area, error. And it's like, gotta keep pushing the button. And sometimes it's okay. And then after a couple times of pressing that button, and sometimes it isn't. So is it uh, specific? <laughs> it's, I can tell. I can tell. I, um, I, I can see the frustration. So we're, we're going to fix it, though. Um, is it specifically on your app? I'm, I work mostly off my computer right now. Oh. So it's on my computer. I, I haven't seen um, anyone ever say to me response format error on their computer at all. Like Wow, because I get it a lot, like more than, yeah, it's very annoying and I haven't, it's just. Ugh. Do you have a, speaking of internet connections, do you have a good internet connection? Are you posting maybe somewhere 
um, outside or is it like from your home where you have no restrictions? Um, I'm connected to my um, router, but I have no restriction. I can go further and still get good service. Yeah. Um, I would, I would ask support possibly. I, I'm not sure. I really, uh, Darlene, wish I could solve it for you. And I, I know okay. frustrated, but they probably have a, a better answer than I on the response format. Or I'm sorry. I can't help you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Um, Karen, Hey, how are you? Hi, Cheryl. I'm good. Hi, Very good. How are you? For TikTok and YouTube, is now site we can post there even though there's not buttons for it like Instagram and the other ones? You can post there. There will be buttons for it tomorrow, Karen. YouTube oh. and TikTok. <laughs> so have have we always had the ability, I guess is my question, or is it just tomorrow? We you could have copied and pasted and posted anywhere. Okay. You know, I mean, that's fun. However, video captions specifically, right, for TikTok, for YouTube, optimized for that platform tomorrow, which is, you know, the big news and super fun. So I'm glad that you asked, Karen. Great job. Come and join uh, us tomorrow at noon Eastern time for lots of great announcements, including that one. Karen's letting the cat out of the bag. Love it. I'll be there. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. All right. So it wouldn't be a proper um, how-to Tuesday or Wednesday without the Apex. So the Apex, what's happening? Hey, uh, well, my background might be a little loud because I'm out doing income producing activities, but here's my question. Mm -hmm. um, and I've noticed um, inside the app, there's when your previous, uh, when you're, when you previously ask it to create your social post, when that doesn't pop up versus the other three questions, it, it says, well, there's something went wrong. Uh, my first question is, why is that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Say it again. You okay, used to so, have your own app things that happen, but go ahead. Okay, so when you first, there's, when you log into the app and then you go into um, the AI section, there's two separate scenarios that can happen. There's a, a scenario that it gives you, it prompts you like example questions you can ask. And then yeah. if, you, if you do it that way, it'll say something went wrong. But if you, if it pops up to where all the other previous things that you have already done you can automatically, it'll work that way. Why is that? I've never seen the error, so I don't know. Okay, so, so my second question. Yeah, go ahead. So my second question is, okay, we've already discovered how to how to create a rocket ship and go to the moon, right? Why, why when is the whole real scenario coming to um, mobile devices? When is the what scenario? Huh? The what? When? Okay, you know how you say you can, we can make reels and shorts and different things like that. When is that going to be on mobile? So you're going to find out tomorrow. Come on, man. Because my thing is, we got to wait. We, oh, we're getting away from the computer. I don't want to go back to the computer. Hey, look, you you just created a, the very first AI version of yourself. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Hey, we got to keep pushing forward. You're posting on social media. We're telling you that tomorrow you'll be able to create captions for Reels and TikToks. It's coming there, Apex. <laughs> trying to keep the, I think you're trying to back me up against the wall and have me drop a secret. I get it. I'll reveal it. Hey, I'm just trying to keep pushing forward. That's I, all. I but, but thanks. I appreciate it. Appreciate you. Yep. Come hang out with me tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern time. You're going to get all this skinny, all the dirt. I'm not going to gatekeep whatever kind of, uh, I don't know, slang you like to use today. Um, you'll find out more about video captions tomorrow. So thanks. Uh, Denise. Hey. Hey. So fun fact <laughs> that I learned the other day. I, I thought I was just posting to, to Facebook. Then I realized 
when I went on my Instagram the next day that the post went there too. I'm like, wait a minute. I only posted to Facebook. So fun fact, now we know that we can paste, post to Facebook and Instagram from our phone at the same time. Or Instagram and post to Facebook, right? They're uh, mm -hmm. interconnected and it's a setting in Instagram and Facebook where you can post to both at the same time. So that is so I, cool. Yeah. Tina says you might have Facebook and IG connected. Yeah. With, right. You kind of get that. Yeah, job. that could be the reason. But that would be really cool if it was through all platforms. Just saying. <laughs> Denise is like, click in four times. <laughs> I just want to click once, right? Like <laughs> four times. My, my, my thing. There you go. Gotcha. <laughs> it's coming. I know you guys are going to make it happen. <laughs> Appreciate you. Um, Tula, hey, what's happening? Hello, Cheryl. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Nice to hear you. Okay. Cheryl, my question is, in the section Training My AI, we can enter a personal text so that your AI gets to know your style. I still write a lot of myself and as a post on the different platforms with my own personal style. Does it make sense to exchange my personal written checks in the AI every one, every now and then. Do you know what I mean? Do you want to change your AI profile? Right, right. Change my style in in the section training my AI. Then we can, uh, then we have a, a part, we can written our own style in this, in this blog now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so... You can train your AI as much as you want to train your AI to suit your needs, right? So, sure. Yes, yeah, what I need, but not my style. My my personal style, when I'm which I'm which I written, uh -huh. I gave my style in the first time in the in the training in the my in the AI, aim, but not more. Do you know what I mean? So you haven't trained it anymore. Is that what you're saying? Yes, but I can, but I kind of change it. Can I change it? It's possible to change it, and it's um. Yeah, me sollte das sagen. Scheiße. Um. I I like to change. I like to change the style every every time. Okay, you can. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Um. Thanks for chatting with me. Um. Bill, hey, what's happening? Hi, Cheryl. Hi. Doing, doing great chat. Um, the, the message I've been sending you it basically is uh, I have a list of contacts, and some only have uh, LinkedIn as their choice of uh, communication. And uh, am I restricted to only sending a message to them using Sales II individually, or can I send the message to several uh, on LinkedIn at the same time? You're restricted to sending the message individually to each one. Okay. Sending them individually. Mm. One. So that to do a campaign, then I am. Uh, my my thought was that when you have a message that you want to send out uh, to many at the same time, uh, that's not possible. No, it's not possible on LinkedIn. Um, you can do that through email, but not through a social platform. Okay. So and you email. don't want to do. Okay, so for email, you can do that to send several <laughs> yeah. the same thing. Yes. And, and and would it automatically go to all of the ones with email on my contacts list? If they are part of that list and you send them an email, sure. I guess the question is, how do I take the contacts from being just contacts to being on a list? Just, okay, I'll show you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I'll unmute. Here we go. Ready? So this is inside of my account. If I go to the contact section, see it? There is a section that says my lists. Okay. And here you can create a new list. And you can name it whatever you want. Just as an example, I'm just going to call it Bill List. Just for fun, Bill. 
I'm going to click on create. And now it's going to create me unless there's nobody in it. However, when I go to my prospect section, I can add whatever prospect I want to the. Hey, Cheryl, you know you're in my account. Oh, sorry. I'll delete it. <laughs> to the bill list. Sorry. <laughs> but but if you want to create a whole campaign, just go right ahead. You know, I, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> it's just going to do all the work here. Yeah. I can create it for the bill list. And I'll show you. Wait, let me go inside of um, my account. Hold on. That was a bonus, Coco. That was a bonus. <laughs> that was funny. You're winning. You shouldn't have said anything. I would have been like, setting you all, all up. Done. So here, my list. We're going to name it Bill. And then uh, here inside of your My Prospects, I'm going to change that list to bill list and then anybody that is a prospect of mine okay so teresa as an example if i go into um my list again teresa is now going to be on the bill list you can see under total contacts right bill yes you can only do it for new contacts you can't do it for the contact list that already exists if you have a contact list that already exists, then you could just go to email, create an email and send it. Like here's an email that's created, right? Then I can select a list and I can add the list and then I can send my list that email. Right, but the contacts I already have are huh? not on a list. So I, can I drag them into a list? You can go to any contact and put that contact, oh, don't see, whatever. You can put a, add a contact into a list if you'd like to as well under the contact name. So as an example, this is Teresa, right? Mm -hmm. And then here, see how, well, there's lists here, lists here. I can add Teresa to a different list if I want to. Okay, but you have to add them individually. Yes, you have to add them individually. Yeah. No way to drag a whole group. Okay. Correct. You got it. Okay, thank you. Good question. Thanks, Bill. Um, okay. April, hello. Hi, Cheryl. I had a quick question also about the um, sending out the emails, and I think you mentioned it earlier. I might have to send an email to support. I was trying to send out um, an email to a list and it was not allowing me to attach an email. And I, I got the message that said it recommended, you know, using a Gmail account. But then when I tried to use a Gmail account, it didn't attach to that either. And I was, you know, getting an error. So is that something I need to send in to yeah. support? Yeah. Okay. Specifically send it to support. It's probably know something specific to your account for sure oh, okay okay thank you yeah great question all right anybody else uh question here we have time for one more um just a few reminders tomorrow at 12 noon during this time we are going to um, have a great now say overview some info on video captions we're going to introduce video captions so you want to be there. It's going to be awesome. Cannot wait for y'all to experience it uh, as well. So make sure that you're there. Ariel, hey, how are you? Anybody else? Are we here? Hello? 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 Cheryl? Hi, Bill. I can hear you. I just can't hear I, you. I, I meant to say something else but, uh, <laughs> when the other young man was talking about getting strange messages from, anyway. Um, I ran into a similar situation doing what we're doing today. And I discovered that the only way I could avoid my ad blocker or whatever else I've got going for uh, guarding my computer was to, to do open up the window, uh, uh, a um, incognito window and open up an outside in the incognito window. It blocks out all the outside trash. Awesome, love the incognito, that's great. 
Thank you. Good suggestion. Appreciate it. I should have thought of that one. Great job, Bill. Uh, Ariel, can you, can you hear me? Oh, Deborah. Maybe check I the, on your headset. Hi, Cheryl. I joined late. I apologize. And I'm kicking myself because you always share such good information. But I have a question you may have covered. When you're, when you're going through the My AI to send an email, can you send it to a group or you have to send it individually? You're talking about sales AI? Yes. You can send it to a group if well, you can send it to one prospect individually. However, you can put each prospect onto uh, a list itself. If you're new here, use your earmuffs. Well, it's it's already in a list, so. Then you can send an email to a list. Uh, you can send a list, any email that you want to. Okay. You know. Thank you. Yeah, good question. Um, Lori, hey, honey, how are you? Hi. So this doesn't have to do with with um, <laughs> it has to do with the uh, the website. Is that okay to ask? I got a I've got a PDF <laughs> that needs to constantly be updated every day. Okay. So do I put it in there as a PDF or do I put it in there in a in a uh, in like a not as a PDF, but as in something, go ahead. Okay. A PDF is something that people have to frequently download. So you're asking somebody in order to check it, they would have to frequently download it, right? And in order to view it. What I would do is take the information from the PDF and I would create maybe a website that just had a large text block, right? And have them go to a redirect website with a large text block where you're only going to that large text block and updating tiny bits of info so they can just refresh daily, maybe check at like 10 a.m. or something. You can tell them to come in and they can check certain sections of that website to see if it's fixed, but PDF requires download. So better off that way. Cool? Great. Thank you. Uh, hi, John. Hi, yeah, just a quick question, kind of following up on Bill's uh, question about add you know contacts to a list or what have you having to do them one at a time if you have um some contacts in the cvs file you're going to upload them say you've got a 100 500 whatever it is um when you upload the contact list via cv uh, yes, me, yeah. yeah can you at that time assign them to an email list or do you still have to go back and add them one by one to a list um the last time i did it you were able to attach them to a list if you need help though, I would recommend uh, asking support and maybe sending them the CSV. Okay, all right, thanks, appreciate it. Question, hi, Jimmy. A quick question, uh, created a campaign yesterday, started uh, at about 30 some prospects I gathered from your ideal prospect. Great. Sent out an email. Uh -huh. um, and I could see in my Google thing that it was they were going out. It looks like about two a minute. And uh, but then I noticed, you know, basically it said, you know, it's supposed to track like how many were sent, how many were open, so and so, how many were unsubscribed. And as of five or six hours later, it didn't show any had gone out. Now I sent out 30 some yesterday. This morning I noticed it came back and said. 17 cent, five opened, okay. no unsubscribed. Just curious how, I guess it's obviously not real time, but when does that get updated to show numbers of emails sent and opened and so forth, or do you not? I'm not sure the exact time. I do know that it takes, because per se, over time. So depending on how many emails I, I'm, it, it's sent, will take a specific amount of time in order to get to it. I think to get a, maybe a more accurate um, understanding, you might want to ask support given the amount that you sent. However, it's not like, hey, this gets updated at five o'clock or, or something like that, as far as I'm aware. But I would ask them specifically if you need to. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll just monitor it and see what kind of, you know, at the end of the day, what it shows and so forth. Sure. 
Sounds great, Jimmy. All right, thank you. Yeah, nice to hear from you again. Thank you. All right. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and end it here. We have um, huge news tomorrow, absolutely huge. You do not wanna miss it. You wanna make sure that you invite your guests, especially if you're affiliates. It's a huge day to offer uh, video captions and you'll be able to post those video captions on places like YouTube, TikTok, Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, and more. So you do not want to miss it. And as always, there's always, always, always surprises. So you do not want to miss tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern time. Can't wait to see you all there. Thanks for joining me for another How to Wednesday. I'll see you all next time. Love to you all. Bye.